so let's assume let's assume a box of length l so length is l containing or uh, length is equals to l containing n number of molecules so number of molecules is equals to n and with a mass of mass of m and they are moving with a continuous velocity of nu so velocity is equal to nu so let's assume this molecule is moving in x direction or in only one direction so the momentum will be p is equal to mass into velocity and this is before collision therefore after collision only the direction changes and p becomes minus so change in momentum delta p is equals to initial minus final which is new minus minus actually i'm talking about only the x direction so it will be x x and x which is equals to 2 times mass into velocity this is equation 1 now from the definition of velocity velocity is equals to distance per unit time or mu x that is the velocity in x direction is equals to distance distance will be 2l because if the particle is moving one direction and then coming back to the same position after collision then it is covering two times the length of the box so distance is 2l and time is delta t therefore delta t becomes 2l by mu x this is equation number 2 now uh, now force force is equals to momentum per unit time momentum per unit time which is equal to delta p by delta t so force f is equal to delta p by delta t putting delta p and delta t from equation 1 and 2 so force becomes what is delta p is 2 m mu x into delta t is 2l by mu x so it will becomes mu x by 2l which is equals to if i cancel 2 and 2 it becomes m mu x square divided by l so this is equation number 3 so that is overall force in x direction now let's talk about the pressure pressure p is equals to force per unit area so it's equals to force we can get from the equation number 3 so m mu x square 
by L into area is L square for one side. So 1 by L square is equals to M mu x square divided by L cube which becomes M mu x square divided by V where V is equals to L cube or volume of box this is the pressure in x direction only therefore mu square is equals to mu x square plus mu y square plus mu z square this is the overall velocity in all the direction or it, mu square is square mean velocity square mean velocity so and if we assume that mu x is equals to mu y is equals to mu z therefore mu square becomes 3 times mu x square so 4 and and therefore mu square by 3 becomes mu x square this is 5 now let's substitute this in equation for pressure Therefore, P becomes M mu x square by V. So just substitute this M by V into mu square by 3. So what we got is pressure P is equals to m by v into mu square by 3 so rearranging this equation p v is equals to 1 by 3 m mu square equation number 6 this is only for one molecule therefore for n number of molecules PV is equal to 1 by 3 N M mu square and this equation is known as kinetic molecular equation of gases.